The Wright Brothers by David McCullough chronicles the remarkable story of Wilbur and Orville Wright, two self-taught engineers from Dayton, Ohio, who accomplished what many at the time believed to be impossible, powered, sustained, and controlled flight. Their story is one of ingenuity, perseverance, and achievement that forever changed the world. The book starts by introducing the Wright family, focusing on the two brothers who were fascinated with flight from a young age. Despite a lack of formal education, both Wilbur and Orville were intellectually curious, with Wilbur excelling in academic pursuits and Orville possessing mechanical ingenuity. They ran a successful bicycle shop, which financed their aeronautical experiments and instilled in them principles of engineering and problem-solving that would be critical in their flight endeavors. In 1899, Wilbur began serious research into the problem of flight after reading of the tragic death of glider experimenter Otto Lilienthal. The Wrights were methodical in their approach, conducting extensive studies of bird flight and aeronautical principles. They corresponded with experts and absorbed all available knowledge before embarking on their experimental projects with a focus on developing a reliable method of pilot-controlled flight. The brothers identified three key challenges to successful flight, lift, propulsion, and control. Their breakthrough in understanding came through the concept of wing warping, an ingenious method for controlling an aircraft in flight that would eventually evolve into ailerons. Despite little public interest or support, the Wrights persisted with their aviation experiments. McCullough recounts their journey to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, where the brothers chose to conduct their flying experiments due to its strong and consistent winds, sandy terrain for soft landings, and relative privacy. They built and tested a series of gliders, improving their designs each year, learning valuable lessons from each failure, and meticulously recording their data. After mastering gliding and control, the Wrights turned their attention to powered flight. They built their own lightweight engine, crafted propellers with exceptional efficiency, and constructed the Wright Flyer, the world's first successful powered aircraft. On December 17, 1903, they achieved the first controlled, powered, sustained flight with Orville piloting the flyer for 12 seconds over the sands of Kitty Hawk. However, public recognition did not come easily. The Wrights continued to fly in relative obscurity refining their designs, and increasing their flight times. They faced skepticism and disbelief, as well as challenges from other aviation pioneers. The brothers guarded their intellectual property fiercely, patenting their flying machine and refusing to fly publicly until they had secured contracts for their invention. The narrative details the brothers' efforts to prove their accomplishments to the world. In 1908, Wilbur traveled to France to showcase their technology. He won over critics with his impressive flying displays, earning the brothers' fame and validation. Meanwhile, Orville demonstrated the flyer to the U.S. Army, fulfilling the requirements for a government contract. Tragically, during a demonstration flight with passenger Lieutenant Thomas Selfridge, a propeller malfunction caused a crash that severely injured Orville and killed Selfridge. The latter became the first casualty in a powered airplane accident. Upon recovery, Orville rejoined Wilbur, and together they continued to set records and attract international attention. They made significant advancements in aviation, improving the design, stability, and performance of their aircraft. They trained pilots and solidified their place in history as pioneers who mastered the skies. The Wright brothers faced ongoing battles over their patents, fending off infringement lawsuits and fighting to protect their innovations. They established the Wright Company, manufacturing airplanes and contributing to the military during World War I. Despite their success, the brothers remained humble and committed to their work. McCullough's portrayal of the Wrights highlights their exceptional character, close family bonds, work ethic, and the sheer determination that defined their success. He delves into their relationships, including the strong support from their sister Catherine who played a crucial role in their lives and work, providing moral support and managing domestic affairs to allow them to focus on their passion. The book concludes with the death of Wilbur at a young age from typhoid fever in 1912, followed by Orville's continued work in aviation and his advocacy for aeronautical advancement 
until his death in 1948. The legacy of the Wright brothers is not only in their invention of the airplane, but also in their approach to solving complex problems and their unyielding dedication to their dreams. McCullough's The Wright Brothers is a testament to human innovation and the spirit of discovery, providing a richly detailed account of the journey of two men from obscurity to immortality, reshaping the world with their vision and tenacity. Their story is a reflection of the power of intellect, determination, and the undeniable impact their invention has had on the course of history. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.